Evil one? I, I have a dilemma on what's that. Come with me. Derail. Oh, shoot. I have problems. Hi, YouTube. And James and I are back again doing another episode of Railroader. Yes, as you can see, the AD&D number one install one. And we do need to rename that one to AD&D two. So... Ah, uh, yes. Uh, good morning, good morning. Or if you're in the, on the uh, side of the pond, good evening. Good evening or afternoon. There we go. <laughs> yes. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our cars over here for interchange. So we yes. have one car for Ella. Um, in the la at the end of the last episode, we bought the uh, milestone for the the first phase of the milestone for the Ella Bridge to rebuild it to Bryson. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen cars for the Ella Bridge site and one for the Ella House track. And then we've got some cars for Whittier today and Stencil and yep. the Sawmill. Um, That is correct. And then we got... What's up? I'm going to go ahead and split the Don't train because we already know what we're yeah. needing to do. I have to collect this train and head to the station. Yeah, but the. Uh, oh, because yeah, you're going to be doing the, ma the mix mm -hmm. again. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be taking number two out today. Yeah, go ahead. Um, uh, I have no problems with that. I'll take number one. I guess, well, I guess you should be going first. So I'll make sure all the switches are lined up for you. Let's go ahead and do a whistle check. All right, you, you're all lined up to come out to the main. All right, releasing independent. Reverser forward throttle. Clear to come back. Make sure the uh, see you on the uh... as we come back, we're gonna go ahead and discuss what we're doing today. So we have to deliver the cars to the Ella Bridge site, to Ella. We gotta run a passenger train to Ella. And then, yep. we need to be able to run a log train. And then the cars yep. for Whittier need to be delivered. So, you can decide whichever one you want to do first. Yep, no problem. I probably would probably deal with everything in Whittier first, and, well, Sawmill and Whittier at the and same then time. And to then head Connolly. Yep. To retrieve the um, logging cars. I just want a gentle. Yeah, there we go. Oh, double check all the um. What the? Oh, that was you. Yeah, do you get the angle angle cocks open? Yep. All right, let's get. Uh, 
Oh, no, nope, now, now they'll open 100%. Uh, checking the oil on the cars all the way down. I'm going to get these first couple cars' handbrakes off. Yeah. I wish the other company that drops these cars off would actually oil them for us, but no. You got an entire box car full of concrete here that I can't even see the hand. Uh, let's, <laughs> let's select it. I didn't want to open the car door. Or door. Okay, so the first <laughs> three cars. Oops. Okay, the first three cars, their brakes are released. All right. Give me a signal when we're ready to go. The end of the train there, so you are all clear to um, head out. Everything's all oiled. It's all safety expected. Man, this train's got some weight to it. Uh, luckily, we don't have to. Do, we're, we're mostly on flat. That's from um, Weeder to um, Ela. I can bring the passenger uh, car with me, or I can wait to bring it. I'm pretty sure number two can handle it. Right. I have confidence. I have confidence. She's a fighter! Of course, that's where I get stuck. Switch, so I can throw that over. Alright. Let's get this train moving. Out of curiosity. Um let's head to the depot. Oh, I got one car I need to in go take to the interchange at the, uh, machining, um, tool and die place. 90% of this train is gravel and concrete. And some lumber, rebar, and more rebar. Yeah, that's how you make a bridge. Tackling. Well, the bridge is still so, technically there, isn't it? Um, kinda. It's just. Um, Ela. Check Ela. Does anything that needs to be picked up from Hilo when you get there? Nope, everything's good over at Hila. Oh, okay. I just need to take one thing back to the um, interchange. 
so that's good. Uh, I think I'm gonna change it. I think change. It. I think I'm gonna take the uh, pick up the uh, logging cars first, and then I'll deal with the um, in town switching afterwards. Should I put my passenger car on the front of the train or the end of the train? Uh, since you have the caboose there, I would probably put it at the end of the train. Yeah, I no, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I gotta stop saying yeah, no, yeah, no, because it confuses the crap out of people sometimes. But yeah, you want the passenger car at the end because you're gonna be uh, uncoupling your passenger car at the station and then pulling up to the siding and then going around the all the cars that are for the bridge and push them up to the bridge. Come on, bring me to a stop. I probably should have hit that brake before. Oh, if I hit nine, it brings me to the back end of my train. Did not know. Does it? Yep. Just. I did not know that, and. I did not know that either until just. I can hear you. Learn something new every day. Come on, train. You can do it. I believe in you. Okay, so that's rebar. That's rebar. That's dimensional lumber. Two cars of it. Oh right, because I don't. You didn't have the contract. I didn't. I couldn't assign. Okay, there we go. All right, now those are for logging sawmill. Keep wanting to call it the logging mill, the sawmill. Gotta stop confusing myself. All right. Come on, just short. What? I stopped oh, just you... short of the passenger car. <laughs> Whoops. Do you know how to uh, do um, flares, by the way? I do not. Uh, C T R L um, F. Control F. I can't remember. Okay, control. control F, yes. That's the word. I was like, what's C T L R main? I know what it means, I just brain can't find what it means. So many things, um, yeah. Control shift. Uh, control F. Is how you do the flare. And you can place a whole bunch of them. Like, they don't go away if you place it a, um, in a different spot. If you put them on the same track, like very close together, they, they will. But if you place it on on the same rail, but they're like a mile apart, then it won't dis it will not disappear. Use like right here, and then it should stop there. Is I gotta have it in AI mode, don't I? Yeah. All right, so I've got it on AR uh, AI road. Direction forward, max speed twenty five mile an hour. And stopping at the flare, I guess, is what they do. Oh, you placed it up. Okay, yeah. Just enough to get, uh... Pass the switch? Yeah. 
Man, maybe. You right. pass the switch now, so. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in man manual and stop it. Do, 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 do. All right. Problem about this line here, max speed is like 25, sometimes 20 in the logging mill in the on the logging um, branch. Ah. <sighs> All right, train, you need to stop at that fusey so you can collect passengers. And then I will set the other fusey at Ella. Because I will need to run around the train at Ella. Oh, you you could go go in uh, engine first to um, the bridge site, but you probably won't be able to use the engine for the rest of the day till everything's emptied. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Don't you got to bring those cars back to interchange? Yeah. Once they're empty, yeah. I set that switch. We're going the wrong way. Set what switch? Um, I set the switch. At the station to we need to go forward, engine. Well, we'll put you in road, we'll put down a UZ right there. That should be enough room to get you out. Alright, I got my first string of cars. Now I'm heading back down the line. Wonder. Have you done? Have you uh, taken out a loan at all, or no? No, not yet. What was that? I have not. Okay out that fuse because I have the other fuse and then I'm gonna set a fuse at Ella just to make things a oh. little bit easier on me sounds good and then I can run over and check out what you're doing My engine is stopped and there we go. Nice. The train's starting to slow down to come to a stop to stop at the thing. I need to make sure the passenger car has the way bill for Okay, it's got the it's got the way bill for Ella. Okay. Am I not? Okay, so uh, okay, so the passengers are loading up at Ella. Good, good, good. Yeah. 
the good thing is when you get more places and and stuff and like you can actually just leave the paths and train to do its thing and it'll just it will automatically stop at all the stations without the flare being in front of it. Yeah, I've got that set up on here. Uh, to stop at every station. So I think, yeah, when we get another locomotive and we get a couple more passenger cars, what we'll do is, is we'll, um, we'll just have yeah, part a, an engine specifically run the train to Ella. And then at some point, I can't wait to get signaling, whenever that is. Uh, you can get signaling once you have things connected to um, Bryson, if I'm not mistaken. Hold on, let me do the milestone. Yeah, once you... When you have uh, connections to... um. Wasn't even paying attention. Uh, I should have paid a little bit more attention. Anyways, when you, yeah, when you have when you finally get it connected to um Bryson, then you can get um signaling from Whittier Whittier to um Bryson. But I find the the the, the signaling a bit weird sometimes. Sometimes sing, like you throw a switch and both signals are saying stop. Not one goes down or the other, and it's like, and then the engine stops stopping. And it just Dolem's connected. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. And departing. Departing Whittier Station. Going less than 30 mile an hour. About 25 mile an hour with 51 passengers. Oh. Then a little hit. Nine. Yeah, I love, the fa I love the fact too that the further destination, the more money you make. But if you get a ops, um, the um, observation car, for the end of the train, you get more revenue, like twenty percent more. Hmm. All right. So, have you delivered the cars to the sawmill yet, or no? No, still... I'm just I'm just collecting the logs first, so we can actually have stuff. Because if you put the cars in, the cars don't fill up because there's nothing for it to load in because there's no logs so if i grab the logs grab the logs and then i then the um put the cars in afterwards then they can start filling up afterwards i gotcha i gotcha so as you guys can see here we've got james currently doing the log train just because it well you know, maybe next episode we'll let uh, we'll let James go up the line to Ella. Yeah, that's not a problem. And my train... currently... is stopped at the Fuse, but now we should be able to go... Oh, it's... Oh, switch against me. Should, uh, pull that out. Alright, yeah. Now our... Number two is on its way to Ella. It stopped at one of the fusies in the gauge that I forgot to delight. But... Yeah, yeah. So what we're gonna do is I'm a... Okay, the... The fusey at the back of the... Uh, you the can fusey. actually have it uh, pass... Uh, proceed past, past this, the fuse at the, at the bottom of your... Um, oh, controls. yeah, I saw. I just hadn't ha hadn't had a chance to click that yet. All right, so the train's going to travel at 25 miles no an hour to Ella. And as y'all have already seen the trip to Ella, I'm just going to cut when the train gets to Ella. So... We'll just keep an eye on the map. There's still two cars here. Jeez. 
two cars here. Still two cars uh, at Ella. They haven't used the parts yet. Uh oh. Well, and then we gotta drop some yeah, they just, stuff it, it, at Ella. It, it'll take, it'll probably take a couple of days before it. Um. Yeah. Sorry. Right. Didn't mean to talk over you. No, you're good. Um. Yeah. It. It'll take a couple of days for those cars to get unloaded. Probably not next, not the next day, but the day after, probably. Okay. So Ella House Track, I need to. Oh. Have to find a way to get the car in front of my train, or the car that's behind me directly, because I have a car for Ella House Track right behind me. I need to be able to get that. Is that is it right on your tender, or is it like in the middle of the car, the whole train? It's right behind my tender, but it's for the house track. Oh, you can just kick it off. <laughs> You're like. I mean, yeah, you, but then I still, it. but still, then I still have to, uh, because the car, sure to have it. I gotta be able to make sure I can get it into the Ella house track. With enough speed and all that. Understandable. Understandable. Probably should have taken that car, put it on the end of the train. Because I was right yeah. there by the siding. I could have put it on the end of the train. And then putting it on the end of the train means I could have... I could have ran around the train, grabbed the car. Alright, where's my train at currently? It's traveling about... 34 miles an hour. About to hit that curve. Or 24, yeah. 24 miles an hour. I'm going to follow as it's... It's right here. Is that a whistle post? It is a whistle post that I completely missed. Oh, no, that's not a whistle post. That's a mile marker. Didn't realize that was a mile marker. That's another thing they don't don't have. I, fi I find it interesting. They, they have the baggage car for um, sandbox mode, but they don't have it for um, actual um, career. Might just Which not have kinda, a purpose for it. Oh, well, you think you, you use it for mail and stuff like that? The stations. One would think. Well, one would think, but I'm gonna put down again, one... Fusey at the mile marker instead. They get one. You think it would, but it's you not. Think pe they actually put people in the passenger car cars instead of ghosts. Exactly. I'm almost back at the uh so uh -oh.
You went into the wrong track. Me? No, not you, my train. Oh, station stop, oh. Ella. Oh, is okay, that we so... at uh, Ella? Oh, wow. Yeah, it is currently stopping at Ella to drop off the passengers. Then I'll have it just stop right about... We stopped at Ella right about 7 a.m. And then I need to add on the passenger car... We need to, 20. Thank you. We need to. I need to add Whittier Depot so that they can start swapping out passengers. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and uncouple. I think that's three steps to um the bridge. Yeah. Oh shit. I need to check that. Forgot to close the angle cock. There we go. Now we can build our stuff back. Rich, $51. <laughs> we made a little bit of our money back. Yeah. Oh, don't buy tomorrow. We'll, we'll make a good uh, portion of our money because with the logging, with the logs. Oh, yeah. And then the fact that we have to drop off all this. At... That just dropped off at the uh, sawmill. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and... Didn't tell it to pass Fusey, I told it to stop at the Fusey. It should be right here in just a second. Um, yeah. So then I'm gonna wanna be able to run around the train. I'm going to bring this one car that's behind me. What I'm going to do... Open the coupler. Yes. I did that to the coupler. I need the angle cock. Close the angle cock. Disconnect the flat hand. Close that. <laughs> Pass the fusey. And then we're going to go here. And we throw the switch. There we go. Put down another fusey. Because then I'm going to run around the train. Uh, that's probably what happened. I'm going to run around the train, push the cars to the yellow bridge site. Yep. And figure out what to do with this and car. Which I think I'll just disconnect when I go around to, uh... Come on, that should be enough room for you to clear that switch. Alright. Order is forward. Forward. 
there's not really enough room behind the switch. But I'll put down another fusey because we've got passengers loading into the car. And the train will stop behind the fusey. Wait, what? Oh, the, the train just stopped. Oh, yeah, that, that's that, that's my fault. That was my fault. Somehow I had your you on. Uh, I had your I had your engine controlled somehow. I think I accidentally clicked Clear the, the car train lengths. Oh, uh, let's do ten car lengths in reverse. Oh, you didn't know that mechanism, or? Because I'm an AI yard now. Yeah, that was my fault. I actually, I wasn't even, I gapped and I guess I clicked on your engine and next I went to yard to go couple on these cars that I'm at at East Whittier and yeah. My apologies. You're good. Not intentional. Yeah, I want to couple on to that passenger car. Kinda. Maybe. Maybe, yeah, I'll think about it. So, we'll just couple on to the passenger car real quick. Release the handbrake. Sure, we'll we'll open an angle cock just so we can get some air to it. Wouldn't hurt. Love how all the stats and on the motive. We well, got fifty one passengers. Works very well. 50, pretty well. Fifty four. Yeah, I think 54 passengers. Crying on the back of the tender. We'll just go to the fusey. Hey, I rode. Max speed. Go to the fusey, guys. Yeah, just enough to clear that switch. That's all I needed. And then... You can. Hmm? I'd say maybe, maybe ten cars. I'm gonna put myself in. <laughs> maybe ten cars, because there's no fifteen option. So I'm gonna just go with ten. Yeah. And I wish there was a pub. Thing that you can put in and type in like how many like, like seven or three or like 25 that's not what i meant to and hit enter and it just it just it goes back that many car lengths that'd be actually awesome you can just type in how many car lengths like so like 25 I the switch enter. and then the game just was like nope you didn't change switch yeah it kind of kind of left Got the day off tomorrow. 
and play some. I'll probably do some more train related stuff. I've taken some of my Thomas yeah. trains that have made them RC. Or race cars? Well, see, I like I, I added RC function to them. Okay. So I took one of these. You can buy this like uh, boat at Walmart. Yeah. And so when I bought the boat at Walmart, it had an RC mechanism in it. So all I did was I just I I bought them I bought it and cut out the mechanism for the RC. And then I wired it up to my trains. Let's just say 20 cars and go for it. It'll start slowing down once it reaches there. Result Like uh, do you have videos of them running? Not yet. I do have a couple of them. I will throw them on screen now. And that's just for the recording. Anyways. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I will send them in chat here later. <laughs> no, no worries. Okay. That'd be awesome to see, man. That's... Oh, yeah. Like, I've done my Thomas and my Edward. My next engine to do is Gordon. Mainly just because hmm? uh, Gordon, I figured, would be fun to rc -ify. Okay. And then I think... Nice. We got money. All right. Yep. Now, time to go to AI Road. And then we're going to go about 25 miles an hour forward. But first, I need to connect those glad, uh, glad hands, and then I need to open the angle cock. And then there's a fusey ahead that I need to pass. I'm going to pass that fusey, but then I'm going to put down a new fusey at the bridge, which is just up ahead. Control F. Perfect. So we got our fusey down uh, the bridge. So the tracks on the other side of the bridge. Yeah, so the bridge just needs to finish building after the flood happened. Because the tracks on the other side of the bridge are already built. And then our next stop after that is Bryson, if I'm not mistaken. Bryson. And there's a pretty big yard. Got to switch against. So we'll hit that switch. Industries and all that, and. All right, and then we're going to nine. Yeah, so we're then we're gonna follow this train to the end of the line, which is currently at the bridge to Bryson. And just wait for that. Um, as the train slowly gets up to speed, we are going to, I'm going to uh, speed up this. Whoa! I don't know why that jump scares me when it was not even a jump scare. For a moment, I thought you derailed. I got disconnected and the doctor of the game crashed on you. Hmm? No, but I'm still here. Uh, I, yeah, I crashed. Uh, I got lost connection to host. I will... I will fix that for you. Invite sent. Which is nice. I steam, appreciate that. The Steam overlay does not appear. Um, actually, no, the train should be fine. It should, it should it's on AI mode. Last site. Oh. Alright. 
the game says there's a fusee ahead. Yes, there's a fusee ahead. That's where we're taking our 15 cars to. Jesus, game. <laughs> we have 15 cars to deliver to the bridge. What do you think we're taking them to? All right. The moon. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. So, my train finished its delivery to the sawmill when 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 I got kicked out. That's good. Yeah, cuz I got the I got the notification that we got paid. Yeah. I wasn't sure if the train would just completely stop or I would just completely keep going. All right, train. Good to know. I would keep... Good to know and scary to know that I will keep going even though when I lose connection. Yep. <laughs> Good thing it's not it wasn't in manual. Oh yeah, that would have been horrible. Alright, I've oh. delivered all cars. Well, it wouldn't be called the accidental death and dismemberment railroad for for no reason. That is true. Alright, all the cars are here, so I'm going to set handbrakes. I, I... I got two cars left that need to go to Whittier itself, so I'm leaving East Whittier to go to Whittier. Try saying that ten times fast. I'm good. <laughs> Ella Bridge Sites. We are here, Milestones. Okay, so I've got the cars here. What do I do? Oh, it says completed now. Yeah, it's like if you got them all high in the. Uh the uh, highlighted section then it's going to take them uh, a day for them to um, unload alright I've set a whole bunch of brakes actually with the time probably about 6 o'clock game time at the evening it probably will be all emptied Since you got them, like, it usually takes about 12 hours game, in game time for them to all get emptied out. Alright, we will see the train in a different location. I need to change that switch so we can run around the passenger, or run around that car to take it to... Let's extinguish that fusee. car needs to go there. We're going to set the fuse right about control F right about there. It'll come back and do the fuse. And then we will bring Now where is my engine? Oh, right. Apparently, I didn't close your angle cock, which I think is BS, but... Alright, you can stop having a freaking seizure now. Look, game, I'm trying to close the angle cock. There you go. Now you can build your air back up. Let me do the one thing. Uh oh. Let me throw the switch. Thank you. Well. I think what I'll do is I'll 
I think this time I'll turn the train around on the Y, since probably it'll be next day that I have to come collect those cards. Yeah. Or later on in the evening, depending. Um... I was going to do something now. Oh, yes, yes. Now I remember. Yeah, so the cars have been Can't delivered. Break off and... But in the system, it doesn't yeah. tell me that they are. The system. Yeah, like when I go to milestones, like... it says in progress. Uh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's phase one of three. So what, I have to deliver all the cars? And then it does its thing? Or... Well, once all the cars are emptied and you deliver them back. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I changed, then that's phase one done. And then once all the cars are back to the interchange, you can purchase phase two. And then phase two will come out. And then after phase two, then phase three. I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna manual this thing real quick. Just because I've got shit that, that needs to be done. We gotta take the passenger back the... Reverse ten cars. Shit, we'll do twenty cars. It'll notice the buffer in AR, uh, or the, the yeah, the buffer stop in AI mode. I hope. Yeah, they do. I'm going to give this car a quick shove after this. Nice. Fine. We'll do the All right. Fine. All right. It's gonna be cause me trouble like that. Fine. Do this. This way then. Of course. That's why you're lagging. Yeah. Forward. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. <sighs> We're gonna back this car onto the passenger train and then we're just gonna bring it straight back to Whittier.
fine. I will just do it myself. I will get down there and open that angle cock, and then you can't say anything to me about a game. <laughs> Damn game. Oh, there's 60 passengers in there. Alright, well... Control 2. Um, I want to get back in the cab. I don't want to leave my player model here. Control 2. He's in the passenger seat. Open said window. Reverse. Road. There's no handbrakes. We're delivering all 60 passengers to Whittier. Actually kind of impressed on that. All right, my fusee's down at the station. Oh, so say, is that you putting a fusee down? I just keep seeing something moving on the track, and it's like, what the? Yeah, isn't Whittier House Track right there? Okay, so yeah, you'll yeah for that Whittier House Track right. There. Or if you want to leave it right there, I can come and grab it. Well. I might be able to I was kind of thinking two steps ahead of you there. I was going to go around it, but if you say you can go collect it, then... Yeah, just making more sure power to you, buddy. Yeah. The more we get done, the more quicker we can end this day. Yeah, tell me about it. I have a, a box car that's moving on its own momentum slowly down to the interchange. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> It's it's just slowly going down the interchange to the interchange. Right. I don't know if it full, fully will get there, but you know. Is that just one of the cars you had that you had to take there? Yes. Okay. Is there any more cars for interchange or no? No, that's the only one for today. So. And then, well, this the one that it's called the the, the first box, the B and O box car, is going to be emptied um, pretty soon. So, roof, um, always put the new new load in behind the old load because the the, the old load will get used up before the new load. So, when you come back to pick it up, it's right in front of the car. The um, is that you just uncoupled it? Yep. Okay, I just my game was starting to lag there, and all of a sudden it's like, um, Why is this what car just happened? Away? <laughs> yeah, was it that was like it's like hey, we're having your yeah. angle cars, your angle cars. The one on the cars are not. What's the? Yeah, it's the it's the front. Well, it actually sounds like you've got one open. Yeah, it's the front. It's the front. The front end. Got it. Why don't you close the front? End? I just did. But when I was uncoupling the box car for the team track, I just kept on going. Now, where is the passenger train at? Passenger train. Good question. Passenger train is about to hit my mark. Yep. Yeah. It's getting close. And now I should take uh try to catch up to that box car. Yeah, probably. I'd take it the interchange. 
I'll laugh all of a sudden and goes ching ching and it's like, oh, it's already already there. <laughs> that would have been funny. I think the car though is just slowly rolling away. That would have been awesome. But I I actually don't see the car. I think it stopped at uh, stopped just at uh, just past the switch there. I see it. Yeah. So you can't see the it's cars around. on interchange, but you can see your engines. Huh? So are not interchange. So you can on the map you can see the engines, but you can't see the cars. I wish you could. Uh, there is a mod I've seen some people have that also highlights the cars and stuff, but I'm not a. Not sure how well those mods actually work. Well, some of them are. I just see you running to go collect your car. By railroad. What? Oh. I thought I, I thought my uh, tender derailed somehow, but I'm just I'm just lagging like, like a bat out of hell. That was, so weird. The train to Whittier is actually coming up to the station now. Please tell me the curve. Didn't derail. Okay. I love oh. how this road just ends. No telephone pole. Yeah, they they gotta do a lot of buildings and roads up. Um, they got th they got things to work on. Yeah, like I think Whittier should have some more buildings, personally. Uh, at least the game back actually runs. Uh, it should. You're not wrong there. Alright. Alright, I'm, I'm heading back to the interchange. So. Oh yeah, you know E and uh, Q are, are the um, buttons to um, look out the window. Or lean out of the cab. Can you stop what taking me out of the seat? Oh, when you're in the cab and sitting down in the chair, it's uh, E and W to look out the cab window. I got you, I got you. All right, currently unloading passengers at Whittier. While I do that, though, I'm going to apply the handbrake. I'm going to disconnect my... Put the handbrake on. Take. We gotta run to the end of the switch here. And then we gotta run back to get that car. And the swaying of the cars and the tender back and forth is just so hypnotic. I'm like, I'm just mesmerized by it. Just. Yeah. You know, a game is good de in detail when they actually have the cars sway. Oh, yeah. I uh, got four passengers left to unload. I'm just. Passing the uh, engine shed. All right, Let we the got bell... sixty dollars. Woohoo! I'm gonna leave the car here, but then I'm gonna go and get the. Box car for the team track. Mm-hmm. All right. And there's another sixty dollars for delivering the empty nice. box car. Once this train clears the switch.
And I think uh, that's it for. Well, I think that's the last thing to be done is the uh, team track. Put a fusey there. All right. The fusey is down. Just got to wait for the engine to come back. And then I need to move the passenger car and the car out of the way. I mean, it's fine. Or, well, the, I moved the passenger car out of the way. I mean, where it's at is fine, but... Talk about the passenger car or the, um... I gotta move the... I'm thinking about... Move, I was gonna move the passenger car out of the way, but I can't decide if I want to do that or not. Uh... Do you want me to take that flare away, or that's... You put that... Oh, no, you put, I put that, that down. flare down. I'm gonna go ahead and go past the flare, though. Yeah, no worries. Switch to yard, and then hit about ten cars. It's not really ten cars, but it'll detect where the car is to slow down. It will. For sure. And then I'm gonna just bleed the brake and pull it off. At lead. Forward direction. We'll hit the road. Not 45 mile an hour. <laughs> 30 mile an hour max. <laughs> I don't want to go 45 oh mile an hour down a curve. I mean, mock Jesus speed's funny, but... I need to extinguish that fusey. And then put one just a little farther up. I can't wait to kick this car. Oh. Kicking? I want to do some kicking. <laughs> it's always funny when you kick cars and sometimes they go well and other times it doesn't go well and it can go into um shenanigans okay that's everything filled up on the uh water and uh coal for today no i want reverse thank you all right we need to put and then Yes, of course you did. You want to go back 30 mile an hour, uh, via 30 mile an hour down the the track to the switch. Let's throw that switch. And then we're going to put a few Z down on the track that you need to be going to. Right in front of the buffer. Which I don't need to, but... Be just a nice thing. Cheers, mate. Let's 
So this day has taken us an hour and ten minutes. Yeah. And I think if I'm probably gonna I don't know just yet. I don't know exactly if oh. I'm just gonna I you kinda cut out there, I didn't hear what you said. Oh. Well, I'm trying to decide whether if I want to make this two episodes or make it a whole one episode. Yeah. Oh, the first one was about an hour. This one's about an hour. Like gives like it was an extra. Again, we had had some technical difficulties in the first episode, or first part. Wait. <laughs> Love hanging off the side of, of uh, train equipment. Makes me feel like a real man. <laughs> yeah, you're taking, you're going uh, all, all around the Y, right? Yeah, I'm gonna back up with the passenger car, and then, right. um, and then I, I'm gonna back up to the passenger car. Move the passenger car out of my way. I have you all lined up for the Y, so. Okay. You taking the passenger car to the uh, team track? Uh, we can, yeah. Uh, we've got room. Right, you're all coupled, so. Clear for 20 cars. Not really 20 cars, but. Get back on there. Thank you. Yeah, right there should be good. And brakes on. All good. I think it was supposed to, I can't remember, what, there was a button for him, a lantern, but I can't remember what the heck it was. Can't remember what the button was for, oh, for it. Yeah. Did we clear the switch? Yeah. Yep. You're good. You're good all the way back up to the Y. To turn around. It's all lined up.
I genuinely actually like this game more than Railroads Online, and that's saying something, considering how much I play that game. <laughs> I have almost yeah. a thousand hours, if not more, in that game. Yeah, same here. And... Now, I have, like, 1,500 hours on Train Simulator. <laughs> yeah, I don't have that many hours on Train Simulator. I don't think I have... I think I have... Uh, I think I had it for the um, Xbox a long time ago. Um, I've been playing I'm... Train Sim World is on uh, consoles, and I kind of just play that every once in a while. The newest version of Train Sim World, Train Sim World 4, has uh, steam engines in it. The Train Sim World yeah, 3 World. had them. Um, one of the uh, DLCs was the CN line was the sea line from um uh basically it takes place in one of the most famous um train spots in Canada or in Ontario which is called Bayview Junction and if you t text in steam era Bayview Junction on uh Bayview Bayview Junction Ontario you, you just get endless hours of just steam train videos and diesel videos and it's still one of the most busiest spots to in to this day but it's a pain in the ass to try to get to. Um, okay, you're lined up to um, go around, go out of the Y. But it's, yeah, it's one of the busiest spots. And the funny thing is, extinguish that fuse if like, you can. A lot of like local passenger trains, like for CN, because those station was like basically right at the waterfront. A what? What's fusey? Ex uh, extinguish the fusey if you can. Uh, which one? The one that was behind our engine. Oh, I didn't know you put one back there. Yeah, I put one back there to get it to stop. Yeah, no worries. But yeah, I was just saying with, um, like, you just find so many just videos of ba uh, of just train just trains going around at Bayview Junction and all that. Because it's base it's it's basically a huge Y with. And of a main line as well. Like. Yeah. yeah. It is a sight to see. Especially back in like the 50s and 60s. Which bay are you parked in? Okay, so you're parked in the one bay. Which means I need to park in the other. And now I don't think. I don't even think you can uh, get to any. Any. I'm not gonna worry about getting cold and water right now. I'll just get it in the yeah, morning. Yeah, day number two for the danger number two. Let's just sound. Okay. And I get into the cab. Thank you. Or not? Fine. I'll ride on the edge. <laughs> I put the fusee down uh, in the shed. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> no. I'll stop before the uh, coupling onto the boxcar. Oh, well, yeah, the fusee's got me in the shed. I... Oh, wait, did I throw, even throw the switch for the... Yes. Oh, yeah, there is a fusee there. After actually learning how to use the fusees, it actually works out very well. Oh, what the? Why is number one moving? I didn't even click anything for it. That was weird. Number one's possessed. There's something. Well, at least it's underneath the smoke st uh, smoke thing now. Is it in the shed completely, or is that a negative? No, it is not. Did you? 
I was going to say, did you stop it, or is this my uh, side effect of the game on my side? It stopped <laughs> on its own. I've got it stopping at the fuse E now. All right. So we are done for the day. Extinguish that fuse E. Control one. Step down from the engines. Hey, you're moving. Stop that. What the Sam Elliott? Manual. Stop. Trains have a minor. There we go. Try and be like Thomas and just try to run without a driver and fireman. Well, we clearly saw how that worked out. Not well. <laughs> no, not well whatsoever. All right, let's do a check over the engine. Things oiled. Right, that's a good thing for us then. All right. So that'll be the end of this episode. Um. I still gotta decide whether I want to make them separate episodes or release them as full episodes, you know. So, yeah. yeah. Alright. I've. Mm. These episodes are also being recorded right after one another. <laughs> so, if I do release them in parts, they'll release on Fridays and Saturdays. Awesome. Um, Fridays and Saturday, uh, Friday and Saturday, the next Friday and Saturday for the next one, and whatnot, and I'll just have a part two. Stay tuned for part two or whatnot. Um. Uh, okay. So, any parting words, James? Parting words of wisdom, you say. Um, may not be wisdom, but um, yeah, parting words of just thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and just enjoy your life. <laughs> um. Not the best with parting words. But yeah, just don't forget to like and follow. If you want to. You're not forced to if you want to. Well, anyways. I'm going to say that's bye for now. You kind of cut out there. <laughs> oh. Oh. Anyways. Well, YouTube, bye for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I will see you all in the next one. Well, bye. Bye.